All right, so we're down here, Beatrice, at the 402 Bar and Grill. This is burger stop number seven. Oh. Number six is actually Kelly and I went to Broken Bow. I'll put that in here. Hello, I'm here with Kelly, married on two wheels. We're at Broken Bow, Nebraska for burger stop number six. Six, yeah, at uh, Tumbleweed Cafe, so you know it's gonna be good. So. I got french fries and you got American fries, is what they're calling it? American fries, yeah. <laughs> The bun is toasted. Good burger. First bite. We're good. So uh, now that we've got our helmets on, it's time to rate the burgers. I'm gonna, I got a bacon cheeseburger like always, french fries. The bun was toasted, which was great. Uh, the burger was, reminded me a lot of Bob's, but it was smaller. But it was good. Uh, yeah, so, Bob's do some, do some big burger giving. <laughs> so I'm gonna give the burger a seven. It was good, but it wasn't like like a hand patty or nothing like that. I'll give the burger a seven, then I'll give the joint. I'll give this place an eight because it reminds me a lot of the places my grandpa used to take me as a kid. What are you gonna do? I'd say the place's atmosphere-wise was an eight. It's a really nice on the inside. It's not too bad. Um, friendly staff. Everybody was kind of friendly. Um, the burger itself was it's not one of the best burgers I've had, but it was a pretty good burger, so I'll probably give it about an eight as well. Yeah. So yeah, not bad. They're pretty good scores. Yeah, overall eights. Yeah. Well, of course I haven't I haven't been with you the, all the different trips you guys have made without me. <laughs> right. And all the other burgers. So. Amy and Steph have been on more of them than we have. I know. I know. You're channeling. <laughs> they and Steph been on the most. I was like, wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> so Tumbleweed Cafe, Broken Bow, Nebraska. Uh, if you're passing through, stop here and grab a burger. They're, they're pretty good. They also have a lot of other stuff too that sounded really, really inviting. But when you're on bikes, you don't want to eat a big meal because then you're just miserable. So. But we got new people here. Yes. So you got to tell them the rules. I got to tell them the rules? You got to tell them the rules. What? It's scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the best, 1 being the worst. We rate food we rate the atmosphere what else do we rate it's that's so pretty long. much it the okay. place and the food okay it's been a while mm -hmm. it's been a while <laughs> all the garnish on the side no pressure i just wanted to include you to at this point with the kitchen being closed we should all just be happy with what we have <laughs> I'm saying I just need a bun. Except for Kelly. Please Kelly doesn't have anything. <laughs> I just realized that. I can't be in the burger thing. I know I should have got oh, that's right. curly can't. fries. I can't be in your burger thing. I can't either. I, get didn't, get a I didn't get a burger. You can still be in the review thing. <laughs> Jackson Hillary. Nice. That's hot. Okay. Burger stop number seven. 402 bar and grill I, i'm gonna give them i'm gonna give my burger because they didn't ask me how i wanted it cooked so i'm gonna give the burger a five it's just a real simple burger simple fries it wasn't expensive though but ask me ask me i'm asking i'd say a three food was a three atmospheres maybe seven for me i'm gonna give them one more point I'm gonna give the atmosphere an eight because they were closing the they kitchen were. at two and they still let us they still let us eat. They were and they were so. very nice about it. They didn't have to be. They were. They were they were nice about it. They're we like, had like 15 minutes in the kitchen closed. Because the waitress said, I'm gonna get your order in first and then I'll get your drinks. Right. Yeah. So she was cool about that. So I'm gonna give the atmosphere an eight. I'll give the burger a five. It was good, but it wasn't the bacon was really good. There's only one piece on there. But, but it was rolled it was up good. to look like two. It was good though. <laughs> I'm disappointed, but I will say compared from last time to this time, I don't feel like everything was so over greasy. I mean, it was greasy, no, but it it's not like it was dripping it was like last time. I didn't think my fries were greasy. Last at all. time they were dripping. It wasn't greasy. My burger came out without a top. I didn't have a tab. <laughs> I was missing. And the bacon.
bacon wasn't on it. It wasn't? No. She did go get it, though. She did. She went and got the bacon. She went and got the top bud. Put it on it. But, yeah. The first time we ever came here, that was awesome. This time, yeah, they went downhill. They did. Um, the food. Oh, gosh. Honestly, I'd give it a four. The atmosphere yeah. was okay. Maybe a seven. Um, the waitress was really nice, but... Yeah. So if you're in a pinch, yeah, it's a, <laughs> it'll it's, do. It's bar food, but yeah, yeah. All right. Kelly got three gizzards. <laughs> we'll get we'll get to Kelly in a second. He's putting his he's putting his helmet on already. Travis, what'd what? you get? I got a cheeseburger and fries. And yeah, so you got to rate the burger and then you got to rate the place. Yeah, uh, the burger it it's gonna make a turd later. The place it's a pretty neat bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean the bar itself is pretty cool. So we need numbers, but I'm going to go with probably a two. For the food? Yeah, for the food. And the atmosphere of the place? Yeah, we'll give it a good 10. A 10? Yeah. Oh, Travis is new. He's giving 10. <laughs> Kelsey? Okay, the burger I would say was about a four. Okay, that's fair. I gave it a five. That's fair. Yeah. It was all right. I was starving. So it like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really like the burger. It was probably eight or nine. Eight or nine. Just yeah. not get a burger next time? Nice. Yeah. You did not get a burger, Amanda, so you not. only get one number. So. Oh. What number do I get? Yeah. Rating the place? Yeah. Um, the lady was super nice. That was our waitress, so I'm going to give her a ten. <laughs> All right. Dang. Kelly's got his helmet on already, so... Flip it up, buddy. Flip it up. Okay, so he loved it. Kelly got Kelly got gizzards. So he can't. So you can't rate the burger. But what about the place? Um, the atmosphere in there's not bad. A lot of TVs. You can see, watch a lot of football. So that's it. I'd say atmosphere six, seven, seven. We'll go with seven. But when you order the gizzards, how many do you get? You, uh, I guess that depends on the cooks and the, the um, kitchen. If the kitchen's halfway closed, you only get half the amount of gizzards. <laughs> how many did you get? <laughs> Three. Three? Three gizzards? So, so the place is great. The food, this time at least, not... Yeah, this not time wasn't, it was like, it was like it was But the place is great. So if you're going to come here and just drink beer and watch TV, it's, it's great. So the consensus is, if you're just going to come here and drink beer and watch TV, it's great. The food, none of us really were impressed with the food. So yeah, all right. So go back to your conversation now. I'm going to get out of it. All right. So that's burger stop number seven. Like I said, I put in earlier burger stop number six where Kelly and I went to, uh, where did we go? Broken Bow. Broken Bow. Broken Bow. Yeah. So yeah. So all right. We're gonna, we're gonna go for a ride yet, but that's burger stop number seven. So we are uh -oh, here at we're here at Homestead National Historical Park uh, for homesteaders, I guess. But a um, little piece of little piece of history here. But we're here to get our national park pass renewed. <laughs> that's kind of the only reason why we come. That you can go to. So is that a house? It's a home. It's a, yeah, like one of the first. Oh Lord, now Amy's interested. <laughs> you know, and it was probably, the, the room they lived in was probably half, the, half uh, the I think we're going to be here for a minute now. They're open Saturday and Sunday. All the days of the week.
so uh, this place is free to get into. You don't have to pay nothing. Homestead National Historical Park. It's neat inside. You learned a little bit of stuff. Um, like I said, it's free. So if you're ever in Beatrice, get on Highway 4 and go west and you'll see it right here along the road. It's kind of neat. Or if you need your National Park Pass, <laughs> you can swing in there and get that too. So Amanda, since you're kind of new to our group here, yeah. uh, what are you riding? It's a 2019 Bonneville Triumph, Bonneville T100. Black edition. So no, no chrome. And you've obviously put bags on it. I put, yeah, part. those are my Krieger bags. So this is like third bike that they put on. Um, they're waterproof. They got liners that get removed. So you can take them in and wash them. And then I have another set of bags that match that I use for on the back. And they're kind of like modular. So you can strap on however many yeah, you need. Cool. They all oh, strap together yeah. and connect. Yeah, cool. kind of cool 100% waterproof. Amazing. You gotta love European stuff. And this has got cruise control. Cruise and control and heated grips, yeah. And it looks like you got the old quad lock for your phone. Yes, indeed. Heated so even grips. though it's tiny, it's got all the info you need on there. Does it have riding modes and all that? No. no. Neither do our Harleys. <laughs> no. It doesn't, but it does, what it, does what it does and it does it well. So you rode this bike on Route 66, right? Yep, and I've taken it to, I took it to You also Smoky took Mountains. it to Milwaukee to the yep. 120th Harley anniversary. Yes. Just saying. But I made, I made my friend go with me. We went. went to the Royal Enfield Experience is what they called it. And they had made this um, reproduction of the original bike that they created, like their very first bike. And they went off of like plans of what they had before. And so they had that on display. And then they took it the next weekend to AMA Vintage Days and had it out there. Really? And it was like one of the main attractions because uh, Royal Enfield was a sponsor of AMA Vintage Days this year. So. Really? Yeah. There are Harley guys will frown on Crouch Rockets. They'll frown on certain Yamahas and stuff. There is, there aren't very many Harley people out there that don't think Triumph is a cool bike. Everybody thinks they're cool. Mm -hmm. The Crouch Rocket guys, <laughs> the off-road guys, <coughs> Harley people, <coughs> Indian, yeah. Mm -hmm. so they're just, they're just cool. It's a cool bike. Very cool. So we are here at Endicott, Nebraska. We stopped on this little bridge here. Pretty cool. So it is yet another day and we are headed back to front to Harley Davidson today because they're right next to the airport in Lincoln. And today Lincoln's having the air show and the Blue Angels are flying. I can't find my glove. Maybe we'll leave sometime. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll catch up with you guys there.
turn sideways or something. So we didn't get to ride a whole lot this weekend, but we still rode this weekend. Next weekend's gonna be totally different. It is. And with any luck, we're gonna be putting videos out a little more often next weekend because we got a big surprise coming. And we're gonna call it a surprise anyway. It's not much of a surprise, but we're gonna <laughs> call it a surprise anyway. Uh, so that's it for the us watching the Lincoln Air Show here at Frontier Harley Davidson. We do. Hopefully the shots came out pretty cool. I hope so. But we're gonna ride home and we're gonna call it a weekend. Thanks for tuning in, guys. What she said. <laughs> now what? Bye.